Raindrops on rodents and whiskers on rodents. I forget the rest of the words, so uh, welcome to How Do We Human. I forget the words to that classic song about raindrops yeah, on rodents. Yeah, that's that <laughs> classic banger. <laughs> Welcome to How Do We Human. Uh, this is the podcast where we overanalyze all the weird and uncomfortable micro moments in life. And I am one of your very hosts, Evan Cox. And I am the other of your very hosts, Chris Binning. Today, we're talking about raindrops on rodents. We're talking about rodents. We're talking about raindrops. Uh, why? Uh, we're recording on Groundhog's Day. And if you think, wait a second, Groundhog's Day happened already. And now it's Monday. It's happening again. It's like that movie. <laughs> we got you, babe. We got you, babe. <laughs> uh, before we get talking Groundhog's Day, it's also it's raining. Yeah. <laughs> before we get talking <laughs> Groundhog's Day stuff, Chris, yes. I got to know how you're doing. I'm doing all right. Uh Look, my car, I got a little notice in the mail that was like, oops, we've got some recalls for your vehicle. <laughs> um, ah, I love that. <laughs> and so all you got to do is go. Oops, all recalls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I open the envelope. It's oops, all recalls. Um, and so you got to go to their website and find uh like a dealership near you they'll do the the maintenance work for free but you got to do it asap this is crucial for your safety and so you go on the website you find the dealership closest to you and they're like maybe in 4 months we can take a look at it it's like what the <laughs> fuck don't drive that car <laughs> till then yeah for your safety <laughs> We can look at these dangerous, dangerous recalls in several months. <laughs> what what the, the worst? Fuck? <laughs> uh, so that's uh, that's the struggle that I have right now. I haven't made the appointment yet because I don't know what is going to be happening in a couple months. No, yeah. I, the last time I had that with my Corolla was like <laughs> we noticed the airbags don't work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? And it's always like several years after like yeah. the vehicle has been out. You know what I mean? My car is a 2015. Yeah. I think I got that notice around like 2019 yeah. or so. Like we've been driving for four years without airbags. I know. Yeah. I mean, my car is a 2014. Okay. Yeah. I've been driving it around for eight years. <laughs> And all, Almost a decade. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it's like, well, actually, several things don't work in this car. You're lucky to be alive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is so urgent. You you haven't been driving that car, have yeah. you? <laughs> uh, so that's what's going on with me. Ugh. Evan. Hey. How you doing? You know, I've also got uh, uh good i forgot to answer how i'm doing i've also I'm got good, good. <laughs> i've also got good i've also got kind of a uh, a brief little tale here which is fine because we got two topics two rich topics to discuss yeah. today <laughs> speaking of of brief little tales rodents hey <laughs> look out <laughs> we're not there yet no. segway too early <laughs> segway too early hold on to it Use it in a second, because that's good. <laughs> that's a good segue. I've got a brief little tale. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm so ready to segue. <laughs> His tail senses are stingling. Stingles. Yes. My tail senses uh, are stingles. <laughs> I'm talking I'm talking good today. Uh, <laughs> I I've been having a busy ass week with work and other things. That all oh man, I had to uh, it's it's a like winter storm. See now I'm extending the story a little. <laughs> it's a winter storm out here in the mountains right now. Uh and so I had to we haven't used we have a generator. We haven't used it yet. So I was like, I guess we should Get it running, test, make sure it works before we need it. Uh, and uh, it was uh, I needed to fill it with gas. I could not find the funnel anywhere. So I'm like, I'm going to freehand this. This is going to be great. Oh, man, I got gas all over the fucking yeah, place. I just. 
I got gas all over. Yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, in the choice. last episode, you did mention what a gassy boy you you are it's around true. the house. So I got overly confident. I guess it I'm checks like, out, but full of the stuff. Um, I just, so I'm having I a really hell of a do time. struggle to understand if you don't <laughs> mind the, the the rudeness with which this is going to come across. <laughs> but I don't understand why you would think that was a good idea for you to do. I I don't know. This we had to do my... a whole episode on spills because mm-hmm. you spill all the time. <laughs> <laughs> You're true. like, but I can freehand gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those like I don't I don't equate the two. I'm like I'm not drinking the gas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a problem pouring things. Uh, I did have a problem with yeah. things. Uh, but anyone would. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have done okay. it, <laughs> is the moral right. of the story. <laughs> but I did, and I had to wash it up with rags. And then I've been on a mad spree to not let these rags spontaneously combust. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and I wish none of it had ever happened. Uh, and I just like went out and bought a funnel. But that's not what I'm here to talk about in the middle of all of this i have a mustache hair going into my mouth in the middle of all of this i get a phone call and it's not you ever you ever just get so like i'm so in i'm in this right now i've got too much going on work is non-stop i'm covered in gas (laughs) the house might explode yeah And you get a phone call. You're like, I don't give a fuck who this is. I do not have time to answer this. Yeah. I don't have time to answer this. And it shows up as kind of like a a number. No name, a number. I'm like, this is spam. I ignore. I get a voicemail. Hi. We found you, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) This is Spectrum. (laughs) We heard... That you've ordered a Zumo box. And we're just calling to help you set it up. I check my email. I have an email that says I just the other day ordered television and a Zumo box for streaming. Um. I haven't found it in myself yet to call because it's at a yelling point. Yeah, (laughs) we're at a point where I need to make myself known as a threat to their company. (laughs) (laughs) If they ever do this again, I, uh, I uh, I don't know. I got nothing. What what do you what do you do? So when they just keep giving you stuff and charging you for it. We have to assume that it's that same guy you talked to on the phone, right? Who uh, still has access to your account (sighs) and like really is trying to get in there and yeah, cause terror. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think you should call and yell at them, and I think you should do it live on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the fucked up thing. I mean, <laughs> that is a funny idea. <laughs> the fucked up thing is, though, it would probably be if last illegal? time is any. <laughs> it would probably be illegal, and also longer than an episode of this podcast because the last time we tussled it was two hours and three phone operator people whatever you call them they're whittling me down and it's like it is working yeah Uh, the more they do the like if there's a third time they (laughs) order me tv in a zumo box i don't know what i'll do we don't have any other options for internet and they know that Mm -hmm. There's a spectrum truck down the road from here. I might go knock on their door. Just be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I, don't, I don't think fuck that's spectrum. the best plan of action. But uh... <laughs> it, it does look like an empty building. <laughs> <laughs> With a spectrum truck outside. I, uh, I don't know. You're bad people. Yeah. Yeah. You're bad people. That we can bad. agree on. Yeah. Well, speaking of phone calls, uh, I'm getting a phone call from oh. the state of Iowa. Hey, caucus, anybody? Oh, yeah, that could be. Um, I'm not going to answer it. I'll, <laughs> well, I'll Maybe I'll check the voicemail towards the end of the episode if they leave one. But I, <laughs> I was going to say, 
My, that sent my brain to another thing. And I was going to say, speaking of rodents, and by rodents, I mean tuna. I mean the state of Iowa. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why. My, my segue brain's broken, so I still hope you're holding on to that segue. Because I have a brief tale. <laughs> speaking of brief tales, uh, rodents. Uh, like tuna. Yeah, uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't think it works. But uh, but don't doesn't tuna feel more like rodents of the sea than chicken of the sea? Oh, interesting. Um, you know, yes, it does. Just we'll just say yes, so I can just tell this really quick. I got a thing in the mail the other day from the Attorney General of Washington State. Okay, it's a check for fifty dollars. Nice. <laughs> it was one of the. I've gotten two. Um, what do you call it uh, when the, they sue a company over corporate things? Oh, yeah. Class, class action, action lawsuit. lawsuit. I've gotten two class action payouts in the past two weeks. One a week. I hope to keep this up. Yeah. Both at least $50. One, because the last company I worked for went bankrupt. <clears throat> and that's all I have to say about that. Uh, <laughs> the other, <laughs> from Washington State, because... <laughs> apparently all the tuna companies <laughs> chicken of the sea the others <laughs> uh starkist yeah all like conspired together to raise tuna prices which you're like everyone's doing that right, since the pandemic like industry does that <laughs> But I guess this was before the pandemic, and there's like a paper trail, <laughs> like these Got these it. companies emailing each other, being like, "Yes, let's do that. <laughs> Raise the tuna prices <laughs> to a dollar twenty-five. <laughs> uh, they sued them. And uh, because I lived in Washington for one year that this was in, it was like starting in 2014, which I still lived in Seattle. Nice. I got 50 bucks. Nice. <laughs> for tuna cons- conspiracies. Uh, I love I like that. that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And someone, uh, the reason this got out, someone, someone was, was a rat. A rat. <laughs> And that's my brief tale. Yeah. Speaking of brief about tales, someone rodents. being a rat. <laughs> you ever <sighs> had a mouse in your house, Evan? Listen. Uh, yes. Okay. I, 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 I like rodents a lot. I'm a big rodent fan. Uh, forever ago, my roommate had two rats. I loved those rats so much. Uh, my girlfriend had a hamster. Uh, we loved that hamster. Just lost it recently. Uh, a good ass hamster. And, uh, I've, I've had the, I recognize the difference between a pet rat and an intruder rat. Yeah. I've had an intruder rat at that shared house I lived in in Seattle. And that thing was fucking huge. Yeah. Like nose to tail, probably over two feet. Like, it's this massive freak rat on the counter eating cereal. And I'm like, hey, I get this guy. <laughs> I like cereal, too. Uh, and I, I, I turned on the light one day in the kitchen, and he was just sitting there eating cereal. And then scurried away. I was like, I can't fault you. He's kind of cute. <laughs> He's kind of know. I think I'm a sucker for a rodent. Uh, how's your rodent relationships? Um, I never had, um, any pet rodents. My fiance had, um, like guinea pigs. I don't know if they Those count as rodents. Oh, I'd count them. Big ass rodents. Um, but I've never had intruder rodents in the home. However, okay. that's good. At both my current job and <clears throat> my uh, previous job, I have experienced intruder rodents. Oh, that's bad news. Yeah. Um, I mean, the uh, it's tough because uh, without giving away too much about where I <laughs> work, um, there are some big rats that uh, have in the past burrowed into some 
uh, necessary work spaces. <laughs> um, yeah. And so you got to try and, well, I don't, I got, you know, somebody has to try and get them out of there with like a broom handle or something. <laughs> try and spook them into a running away. Yeah. Um, and then at my previous job, I think maybe it was like kind of out by like the cardboard baler with all the 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 good chewing that you can do out there. Ooh, yeah. Uh, there was a rat that had kind of made a, a nest in the the loose cardboard. Um, that also, you know, like it's it's tough because there's certain animals that when you find them in your home or in your office or whatever. Like move number one is just call either like pest control or animal control or yeah. like an exterminator or something. But rodents seem to like get a pass in a lot of ways where it's just like, <laughs> just scare them away and they'll run yeah. off. Yeah, They'll certainly not just go back into the wall. Exactly. And come out when they're ready. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, the move every time that I've seen one has been for somebody to lure and scare them away. Hmm. I mean, it works for the moment. You do work at that uh, secret lab from the Secrets of Nim, right? Uh, yes, I do. I knew it. Yeah. Um, and that's the that's the thing is like, even though it is a secret lab, like if somebody guesses it on the like right on the <laughs> the nose like you did i have to tell them that they're correct it's like a cop <laughs> yep. are you a secret yeah. worker <laughs> you have to tell me yeah uh, um, citizens rights <laughs> <laughs> yeah a s o n w a b yeah, uh, that's a harder one to say. Huh? <laughs> it is. It's on, uh, no. All secret of NIM workers. Unpronounceable. Unpronounceable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I've, t- I've talked. To, uh, the thing is, writing notes for this, I'm like, we haven't done an episode on rodents. We haven't done an episode on, on rain, but we've talked about so damn much. Yeah. And I'm pretty positive I, I've told the story about my childhood uh, my sister's hamster mischief does that sound familiar no mischief he was a little mischievous fella we were kids we loved this fella and uh one day he his eye fell out of his head oh that sounds more familiar (laughs) and then he ate his eye tasty and my mom was like Never again. You are what you eat. <laughs> that, was, that was the most upsetting thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> we are never having rodents again. Uh, which I understand. Because today uh, is Groundhog Day that we are recording this. And we've got the results. <laughs> yeah. You are the father. <laughs> of springtime. Oh, yeah. You are the father of springtime. <laughs> which I don't... I, and I don't mean to interrupt, but like, do you, I feel like I, it hasn't, I feel like it's been months of winter for like a decade now. Do they, I got to look up. Do they have the results in like a list? Oh, of like every anyone year, like, does the he results? see his shadow or not? Yeah. Um, Groundhog's Day results by year. <laughs> Now we're now we're getting. This into is it. what the internet was made for. <laughs> um, aside from the, uh, of course, famous uh, movie Groundhog Day, have what? you ever watched the Groundhog Day ceremony? I th- genuinely, I think once. I think, I think <laughs> once it's the in same my for life. Me too. <laughs> and you're you're looking for the groundhog, and you're looking for the guy in the big hat. Yeah, uh, and that's that's kind of it. Yeah, uh, it's not as exciting as the movie made it look. Yeah, that's it's... true. Okay, have you found I've results? Got a, I've got a graph here. Uh, so this goes by century no it starts by century i go oh, i guess just the 1800s it's too hard to 
remember everything. Sure. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> There's no record for most of those years. But the first year they have on record. Uh, okay, the so first year on record, February 2nd, 1886. But they don't know what the groundhog did. Uh, but then two years of seeing his shadow. No record. And then no shadow. I, I by a long, uh, okay. So he, the last time it was springtime. There was two years. <laughs> uh oh, I don't like this. <laughs> two years of uh, because what is it? It's not seeing his shadow it means springtime. Yes, no yeah. sad, no shadow means early spring. The last time that happened, two years in a row, 2019, 2020. <laughs> oh, ominous. Very ominous. But I, I think if I'm thinking why I don't remember that is because 2000 to 2009, there was only one year where he didn't see his shadow. Uh, all the other times he sees his shadow. Which, what the, what the fuck is this? What are we right. going off That's, of? You yeah. know what I mean? What do we mean sees his shadow? Yeah. What does he have? What are the qualifications? <laughs> <laughs> he sees his shadow. Yeah. <laughs> this never occurred to me. No, yeah. What does that it, mean? It, it is very strange. <laughs> I don't really understand it either. <laughs> Uh, do you like shine a flashlight on him to make a shadow and then he looks at it or he doesn't <laughs> or you just put him out somewhere and there's a shadow or there is I think they like they put him in like a spooky hallway and they have <laughs> him, like creep down it and then he and then maybe he looks and sees his shadow gets <gasps> startled and then you know they he like waves his arm to see if the shadow does the same thing and then, yeah and then yeah. if it doesn't maybe- and it does its own thing, then it means that the the, the spring is cursed. Yeah, the spring is cursed. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe his shadow's haunted. And he just goes there, and the shadow's like creeping behind him. But he doesn't see. I'm, I'm assuming if they put him down, there is always a shadow. This is the thing yeah. that's never like occurred to me. It's like what that means. Like, of course, he has a shadow unless we're specifically doing it at the time of day, at noon. Yeah. <laughs> sun is directly over him. There is a shadow. There would still be a shadow even if the sun was directly yeah, there would be over a shadow, him. But, but that would be like under yeah, him yeah. and it would make perfect, perfect sense not to see that. Yes. But he's got to they got to give him a chance. He has to have a decent sized shadow and either he's I guess yeah, you're just relying on this animal to turn around and go, oh. "Yeah." <laughs> and if he doesn't do that, winter. Yeah. Um, this is the weirdest thing in the world. <laughs> it is very strange. <laughs> Uh, it, um, so the results for this year, were they that he, uh, saw his shadow again? He did not see his shadow. We've got early spring. Early spring? I know. That's what I'm saying. I, like, I couldn't remember the last time that was, uh, the result, but the last time it was a result was the year 2020. Huh. Well, that is, uh, that, I don't love that. We don't love it. (laughs) (laughs) February 2nd of every year derives from the Pennsylvania Dutch superstition. But if the groundhog emerges from its burrow on the den and sees its shadow, it will retreat to its den. Okay. So I think that's more a part of it. And we've just kind of simplified it to did he see his shadow or not. But if he comes out of the den. But I always see the man in the hat holding the groundhog. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe we gotta watch it, next year. It is very live, strange. Live, live stream the live stream, live stream live <laughs> from Groundhog's <Punxatani>. Day. <laughs> uh, yeah. We, we'd be the first podcast, right? No other <laughs> podcast is live stream Groundhog's Day. <laughs> you're like, you're, like you're doing a live watch along of the Bill Murphy? No. No, no. <laughs> we are out. there. We are taking... <laughs> A full trip to Punxsutawney in the middle That's of winter. To so see in. <laughs> I love this idea. <laughs> oh god! Uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna sway back and forth all over the place on this episode. But gotta ask: Is it currently raining in no uh, today, old LA County? Today is our one day break from the rain it rained yesterday and then it's supposed to rain 
Um, not today, but the following four days in a row, I believe. Okay. Um, I when I'm inside at home, I love a rainy day. The best. Uh, when I have you to love go to your neck. anywhere, yeah, throwback. Uh, when I <laughs> have to go anywhere and it's raining, I hate it. Awful. And a big part of that is how uh, the stereotype of people in Los Angeles not knowing how to drive in the rain is one of those stereotypes that's like, it's 100% true. (laughs) Um, (laughs) It's the worst driving you've ever seen in your life. I've uh, I've come to the... uh, having lived in seattle for as long as i did where it's like oh it rains a decent amount i could say the conversation there is like the same but flipped it's like nobody knows how to drive in the sunshine (laughs) (laughs) they don't know how to drive Ah! (laughs) no it's like you would expect these people could drive in the rain because it's seattle and they're in the rain all the time but they can't drive in the rain which has led me to the conclusion like just a lot of people are bad at driving in the rain. Yeah. Where it's like a lot of people are bad at driving, so it checks out. A lot out. of people are bad at driving. <laughs> rain doesn't help. Just use your windshield wipers. Yes. You know, watch out for those puddles. Yeah, hydroplaning. Yeah. yeah. Careful of that. Don't hit the brake. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> Don't turn the steering wheel. Just ride glide on through. You'll all be fine. Uh, but, uh, agreed. I, I despise driving in the rain, uh, partially for other people, partially cause it's not fun to drive when yeah, shit clouding your vision yeah. and your wipers don't go at the right speed. That perfect speed is missed on every car I've ever had. Yeah. Or it's, um, you're like windshield wipers or. Are- a little dirty because the rain can be very dirty <laughs> and kick up a bunch of dirt and it just yeah. smears across your windshield and mm. uh and it's even worse love that yeah um the other thing that like because again i love when it's raining outside and i'm just the best hanging out at home on the couch or something um but in my current job it's like sometimes I'm working inside, sometimes I'm working mm. outside. So when it's raining, it's going to be a pretty miserable day. <laughs> um, they provide us with rain gear, but like it only does so much, you know, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't doesn't really help, uh, especially no. since I wear glasses too. like mm. there's no windshield wipers on my glasses. Well, <sighs> got to be a fix for that i forget what i was thinking of the other day where i'm like how is that not an invention but like do they make glasses where rain just kind of doesn't stay like water you know like you can make water resistant um, that water doesn't like soak into yeah i don't know it seems like like that's got to be possible right Because I I wore glasses when I was a kid. Uh, I forget when I stopped wearing glasses. Probably maybe like the fifth grade. So I think childhood through the fourth grade or so, I wore glasses. And yeah, that it sucks. Uh, and it's I don't know. As a kid, I'm like I'm not carrying a little microfiber towel around with me. Yeah. So you know, they wipe them on your shirt, and then they get wet again, and you can't fucking see. And everyone's like, nerd. Yeah. <laughs> um. The other struggle in the rain that uh, that you and I maybe both can identify with, uh, having uh, shaved or bald heads, um, again, it ties back into, you know, there's nowhere for the rain to kind of like soak into. So it's yeah. just kind of running down your your skull all day uh how you feel about that uh well i wear a hat (laughs) sure (laughs) so it soaks into that uh i don't often go out bareheaded i mean in general i don't often go outside bareheaded i'm usually wearing a hat um i do not like the feeling of rain on my 
my uh, bald. What's the word? pate? Pate? Isn't there a word? Isn't that a word? <laughs> I don't. I mean, I maybe. I don't know. I think that's a head-related word. This is a Google episode. Maybe it'll, you know, be one of our trivia questions at the end. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, that'd be fucking thrilling. The top of a person's head is called a pate. Nice. I know one thing. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so not uh, not crazy strong feelings about that. Uh, I just uh, I don't like it, so I, I wear a hat. I'm also uh, I, I haven't used one this uh, since we've lived out here. But like, I'm, I'm an umbrella fan. Get over yourself. Umbrellas <laughs> yeah, are they're, great. They're, it does seem kind of strange, but um, man, there is not a lot of uh, people who use umbrellas anymore. It feels like yeah, millennials are killing the umbrella industry. <laughs> <laughs> We were joking before recording about that general trend of people making the jokes of like, why are millennials this way? And it's like, that is just one of those weird millennials. I don't know. Our parents used umbrellas and we rebelled. <laughs> we did. Never, never again. And again, that's one of those, like, I thought that was kind of strictly a Seattle thing. Like Seattleites are hard, like anti umbrellas. You wimp. It rains all the time. Umbrellas are for wimps. I'm like, but there's no way we don't 100% all agree it's nicer not to be soaked. Yeah. <laughs> Unless I'm in the shower. Right. If I'm wearing clothes, I don't want to be remotely wet ever. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. Use an umbrella. It's fine. Uh, if, if we can pivot back hey to now. rodents for a moment. Um, Get her on back. We've talked about pet rats, we've talked about, or pet rodents, and we've talked about intruder rodents. I want to talk about Ooh. another <gasps> class of rodents um, that I find perhaps the most strange. Mm. And that is rodents in zoos. <laughs> there's like the reptile house but then there's also like in some zoos they'll have a mm. little a little room or something in one of the exhibits that's yeah. like here are some tiny little rats from around the world it's no field why mice and stuff. <laughs> yeah that is odd i hadn't thought about that but i've i've been i've seen this i've seen this in zoos yeah i don't know cute to look at but that i mean that's zoos across the board is there's that idea of like shouldn't most of these animals just go be in nature but <laughs> now they'll all die yeah um, but like mice and stuff like that in particular i'm like yeah i don't know that there's that much of a demand to see mice at the zoo <laughs> <laughs> that's odd that never occurred to me hmm. is it like are, is the rodent exhibits uh, in zoos, is that the equivalent of like rodent death row? And it's like you do your time here and then you get then we take you over to the, to the reptile exhibit, you know, uh, uh, that's and, probably true, you know, and then we <laughs> then we bring in somebody to replace you. Because that's, you know, that's the case anywhere else with reptiles. They have mice. Yeah. Don't ask why. And if, you, if you're if you a zoo and you've got to have a bucket of mice, might as well show them off. <laughs> might as well show them off. <laughs> <laughs> show off those pretty mice. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I like a zoo. Uh, there's a conservationist part of me that wishes I didn't, but some zoos are doing good work. I, yeah, I feel the same way that you do because, uh, of course, um, keeping animals in like a relatively small enclosure is, uh, is bad. Yeah. Um, but also like. That's how the child in me got to see these animals. Yeah. 
And that's what child me loved was seeing yeah. big elephants and uh, giraffes and stuff. As an adult, I I don't remember what zoo it is. Uh, my girlfriend and I met up with some friends. Uh, I call them mutual friends now. I like oh, uh, friends of hers who I've gotten to know. They have a kid, so they were taking their kid to the zoo. So we all went to the zoo. I forget which one. Somewhere in Southern California, maybe like an hour out of L.A. Uh, and and I'm I'm in my mid thirties. I got to feed a giraffe. Delightful. I got to. I got to see a California condor, and that's cool because <laughs> they're almost extinct. And there it is, and it spread its wings, and it's like twice my wingspan. <laughs> like, no, oh, that's one of the coolest things I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> yeah, love that. I love that for me. <laughs> and that was like a moderately open air thing. You know, there's a net above. Right. I don't. I don't know. Mixed feelings. Yeah. But rodents, I think you are 100% right. <laughs> that is the food court. <laughs> <laughs> the unacknowledged food court. <laughs> I, uh, uh, not to get off of rodents, but in that reptile world, I've had to, because I've always been weirded out by that. I don't like, I guess that's still rodent adjacent. I don't like, I like snakes. Okay. I've never had a fear of snakes, really. <laughs> I think we've talked about this. You're no, you're an Indiana Jones. Yeah. That's, uh, that's no me. snakes for Chris. Hate snakes and hate Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad track record. <laughs> <laughs> uh i think snakes are cool i'm not a person that's like sees a snake and goes oh i'm gonna pick it up uh i have held snakes but like uh don't ask why <laughs> <laughs> but i'd always had that like i don't I, I can't have a pet snake i i you have you have to if it's a certain type of snake if it's big enough uh, they eat live mice uh and i can't do that i can't i can't i just this past like couple of years I had to do my first live uh, i had to <laughs> my first live crab into boiling water uh and it was delicious i didn't like the process though i didn't like the way it made me feel i'm a yeah i'm a sensitive boy yeah um but i did have to pet sit someone's um Iguana. That's what it was. It's an iguana. It doesn't eat rodents, but it does eat uh, crickets. Yeah, which are big enough to still make me feel weird. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like it's you know at least a rodent. It would have been like, all right, goodbye, one rodent. This is me like dumping <laughs> thirty crickets into a pen. <laughs> Those guys like wah, wah, wah. it's cool to watch, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Rodents are pets, not food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> says the conservationists <laughs> stop eating <laughs> my snakes <laughs> i don't know they're cute i like cute things what can i say yeah i mean it it is kind of interesting this like very pro mouse <laughs> like <laughs> uh inclination pro. you have pro mouse confederacy yeah so, i mean big mouse clearly got to you yeah. um but i know your secrets the because <laughs> it my like impression of society mm -hmm. um is, is duh but um <laughs> my, my thought my... about how they feel about mice my impression of society <laughs> <laughs> but the yes, way i think true. they feel about rodents is bad <laughs> yeah, i think that I they agree. think they're gross and disgusting um yeah uh which are synonyms but uh <laughs> <laughs> They're but then, gross. They're disgusting. They're icky. <laughs> they're nasty. They're nasty. They're repulsive. <laughs> How many more we got? <laughs> they're just uh, sick. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, rodents give me the ick uh, to appeal to our 
our Gen Z <laughs> listeners. Is it? This is a. I love like when a, a new game sparks in my head, like a yeah. thesaurus game. Yeah. Just back and forth. Someone starts, says a word, you say a synonym. Boom, boom, boom. Back that's, in that's, the that's fourth. Kind of fun. <laughs> that doesn't quite fit. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to do. I'm trying. And that's how to, you know uh, it doesn't fit. To take thesaurus <laughs> and back and forth. <laughs> And combine Back them. The fourthest. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> but anyway, the, all of, thesaurus awakens. All yeah, that's that <laughs> makes much more sense. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like back in the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all of this to say, whew, society <clears throat> does not like True. rodents, and yet. One of the most famous, dare I say, prolific children's characters, Mickey Mouse himself, is a rodent? Yeah. We're supposed to all love Mickey Mouse? Or Charles Entertainment Cheese? Uh, (laughs) Another famous rodent appealing to children? Yeah, there's a lot of them. What's up with this? uh, I'm thinking about it, because... There is a certain point when you look at what happened with millennials, <laughs> but you do look at the pop culture you were growing up. You were grown up with. <laughs> I was sure. growing in the, the lab <laughs> in Nim. In <laughs> Nim, I, 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 I don't remember what Nim was, but I do did grow up. I watched the movie The Secrets of Nim. I read Brian Jacques books. You ever read a Brian Jacques? I don't believe so. It's little mice with swords. It's <laughs> awesome. I loved that show when I was a kid. They're like decently long novels. Like at the time, at least, I haven't read one since I was a kid. At the time, though, it felt like this is high fantasy and drama, but the, it's just uh, all mice and they've got like <laughs> chest plates and swords fighting wars and shit. It was cool. I did read um, Stuart Little, another course. mouse book. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've been scared off of trying puns anymore. <laughs> yep. It's another mouse book. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but I think, you know, I agree. you grow up watching Tom and Jerry. I don't know anyone that watches Pinky Tom and Jerry and that's rooting for Tom and his uh, as we found you know out what? yellow eyes. You, you know, I Tom was my oh, favorite of the two. It. This explains yeah. it. <laughs> Oh boy! Yep, you're big oh, mouse Jerry. and I'm big cat. It's, yeah, that's the problem. That you're a big uh, cat worker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine what that was if you didn't have weren't watching this on video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It. Hey, as it someone who did watch it on video, it took me a second. <laughs> 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 this is good work. Um. We can we can always we can always come back to rodents, but I do want to drip 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 down the drain back yes. over the rain real quick. Wash uh, out those itsy bitsy as, spiders, folks. Oh gee, fuck! I had a sp- another spider up here, right over there in the corner. I'll just point to this because it's all the same sort of looking thing. Yeah. So on the wall like that, and it was up there, and I've gotten to the point now. Uh, most of the spiders are cleared out of here, but it is one of those like we're in that part of the world. There's just going to be spiders here. Yeah. There's one. Right there, <laughs> but there, yeah. and on there, and I was like, I'm going to finish, because again, <laughs> I'm working so hard, that I'm like, I can't focus on you, or <laughs> Spectrum. I think Spectrum sent you. Ooh. I, what, I've never Spider- seen this Trump. before. <laughs> you, <laughs> he's done it! <laughs> hey! <laughs> and it makes sense, because Spectrum deals with what? The web? Hey, you've seen a spider hanging from a thread. I have. Thread, whatever. What do you call it? Single strand. Of a... Is there a word for that? I don't know. I guess I'm thread. To learn Thread's fine. This. A thread of I web. see a spider hanging on by a thread and I say, mm. hey, same. <laughs> <laughs> but this was... guy gets me. <laughs> I watched him clung onto the wall. And then, uh, keep got to keep my hand in frame, de-escalate, 
Uh, I can't think of that word either. I gotta get this thesaurus, man. Descend? I've never had one. Descend all the way down to the ground and just stand there. <laughs> <laughs> There was nothing so strange about this. I've never seen it happen. Spiders are always on the move or they're just there. Yeah. But it was just like, I'm up here. I want to be down there. <laughs> yeah. And I just watched him there. You I ended know, up taking him outside, but it's pouring down rain. So I think he immediately died. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know why I brought him outside. Crueler death, honestly. Yeah. I mean, he's a, uh, he's a go-getter though. You know, he sees yeah. what he wants and he takes it. It's true. He wants that ground. Yeah. Uh, what I wanted to bring up weather for, other than I got distracted by that talking spiders real quick. Um, have you ever, either in your home or your car, not realized it was about to rain? A surprise rain is coming. You leave windows rolled down. Do you ever... Had some unfortunate <laughs> rain incidents uh, with Windows um, operating n- system. No, I I have had in the place that I lived before this every single year in December when it would rain extra hard in L.A. Mm, my yes. roof would leak in the same two places every single year. That sucks. And every single year, the landlord would come over and he'd be like, oh, okay, well, we're going to rip out part of the ceiling here, and then we're going to leave it like that for weeks <laughs> until we forget about it, and then uh, then we'll put it back. And now, trust us, yeah. next year, this is not going to happen. And then it would happen again. Um, when as- is this guy going to move out? <laughs> <laughs> as far as uh, leaving windows rolled down, um, I this didn't happen when it. I don't think rain was a part of this. Mm-hmm. Um, this didn't happen when it rains. <laughs> um, but uh, I, when I lived in Phoenix, um, I had rolled my windows down or left them cracked maybe because it was in the middle of the summer and I didn't want to get into my car and have it be really hot. So I had the windows uh, cracked and the uh, sunroof uh, cracked. Yeah. And then there was one of those freak haboobs, a big dust storm. Um, What's it called? A haboob. I've never heard that word before. I Um, love it. It's great. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, but it also it, sounds awful. It rolled through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If one of those happens, like you're generally supposed to just pull over and wait for it to pass because Damn. the visibility is so poor. Um, but I was at home and uh, and my car was outside with the um, windows cracked and the uh, sunroof cracked. So when I went to go uh, leave for work the next morning, um. Uh, my the inside of my car is just covered in like sand and dust. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> so same same idea basically. Uh, and it being Washington, uh, you're not expecting a haboob. No. Uh, but you should be expecting even in the summertime, you might get a little bit of rain. But same idea. I, I mean, it's a pretty small town. I, it's weird to think now, having lived in Seattle and then Los Angeles. <laughs> of ever leaving my window rolled down. I would never. But uh, yeah, you know, sometimes it's summer and it's fucking hot and you have to get in your car in the morning and uh, you just want some air going through there. You leave the window cracked a little bit. Surprise rain. Surprise, surprise. Uh, I had that happened. And the passing it was like you know like rain will come at an angle sometimes and you're like this is a very specific angle <laughs> the wind is blowing it in and it was blowing it right into my passenger side window uh maybe i foresaw that and like kept my other window down or maybe i rolled them both down i don't remember but that the i don't know what you call it the foot space of the passenger seat uh just filled with water maybe like that deep (laughs) like i had to get like buckets and stuff and then sop it up it was such a pain in the ass and then i don't know how it could possibly be related but after that point um every time it would rain every single time my car would leak 
it wasn't coming in through the windows coming that car didn't have like weather stripping in the door okay <laughs> so mm-hmm. water would leak just there so it was like every other day <laughs> <laughs> the foot part of the passenger seat would have like uh, two three inches of water in it and when you have to it takes so long to clean <laughs> and at a certain point you just go like uh go be with god <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know good luck just buy some fish and put them in there <laughs> Uh, it sucked. And that car got so fucking gross. <laughs> yeah. Um, the other instance was uh, the first time I was like, oh, I'm, I'm smart and classy. I'm going to oh, look at my bedroom in this apartment. I've got this window with a little shelf, a ledge coming off of it. I'll stack my books all by the window. Mm. And uh, it was summer. I'll leave that window open. It's fucking hot in there. I didn't have AC. Surprise, rain. Wet books. Wet books. And wet books didn't occur to me for a while. I don't know why. I guess because I had a screen. It's not like it was a fully open window, so it's just like yeah, water right. pouring in. <laughs> There's a screen, so it's just like dampness slowly seeping in. So it was a while before I like went, hmm, perhaps I'll read one of these books. <laughs> <laughs> all ruined all fucked up all the books oh, black mold Ooh. totally like the pages completely like melted into each other oh, it yeah. was such a bummer uh, so it was like probably like 30 books that Ooh. i had to throw away and i'm a book lover <laughs> oh hey hey hey, hey. i get no respect <laughs> Well, his books. books got no respect around here. Hey. <laughs> I love finding, naturally finding a bad impression. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, I don't know. This is this is this. We got any more rodents? Any more weather to talk? No. This feels like Groundhog's Day. Do you think? Um... Rodney Dangerfield is short for Rodent Dangerfield. Mm, yes. Okay. Hey, I don't get any cheese. I don't get any cheese around here. <laughs> no cheese. Is there, like, I, this is so unrelated to this whole episode, but. Great. Let's go. Rodney Dangerfield, like, I yes. know, I've seen movies that he's been in. Yeah. And yet the only thing. <laughs> that like I can my brain can ever associate with him is yeah. I get no respect around here. But 100%. certainly there were other catchphrases or things he had. Right here's here's the thing because I, I I in my uh, really digging deep into you know you get in those stand up moods and I'm like I'm yeah. going through the history of stand up because it is interesting from a modern lens to look at some older standups and when you find people where it's like, Oh, that does stand up to the test of time. Mm. And you know, 90% of it absolutely (laughs) fucking does not. (laughs) And so I was listening to some of Rodney Dangerfield's recordings and it's like, this guy's funny as shit. (laughs) He's got good jokes. Unfortunately, a quarter of them, pretty homophobic <laughs> yeah but is he, the ones that aren't pretty yeah. fucking funny is he the one that would uh do the like oh take my wife please or is that somebody else i don't think that's it he was okay. uh, and maybe i'm wrong i could be wrong i i, I just said i just said i listened to it <laughs> i get the respect around you uh he's uh significantly more on the self-deprecating side about uh how ugly he is. Yeah, I'm so ugly. I get no respect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> get him, Rod! Uh, also, I'm a mouse. <laughs> there was, uh, um, you know, and we don't have to keep talking about Robbie. <laughs> gotta <laughs> keep going. This but, is it. You know, this you s- is the podcast. <laughs> you say that, um, like, oh, uh, he's, uh, He's a mouse, but wasn't there? Yeah, <laughs> you remember? You, you ever heard of Rover Dangerfield, Evan? <laughs> is this a real thing? This is a real movie. 
that oh. I've never seen. That, you know what? However, it sounds familiar. It is um, Rodney Dangerfield, but uh, as a yes. dog. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> 1991. Wow. I'm going to watch that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, you are catching up on, you know, Oscar-nominated movies. It's so. true. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to look it up. I couldn't find it. But he is one of those guys uh, who gets no respect. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> He's one of those guys that now that we're of a certain age, you go like, oh, man. Because he, he, I think he like started doing stand up when he was like sixty or something, and you go like, "Oh, that's nice." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, he gets some respect from me. <laughs> uh, speaking of this getting respect, <laughs> this podcast. Uh, how could you not respect the quality content? That we've put out. Uh, Seriously. Rain, Rodents, and Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> the three respect. R's. Respect. <laughs> respect. Us. Respect. Uh, uh, <laughs> you can find this podcast on uh, Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Pocket Casts, HowDoWeHuman.com, anywhere that you get your podcasts. You can find us. You can leave us uh, a rating. You can yeah. leave us reviews. You can leave us respect. Oh, please. Uh, you can also check us out on our social media. You can find us on Instagram at How Do We Human. Oh, we got that handle. You that can <laughs> find us <laughs> on Facebook at How Do We Human. I don't think you're ready for that handle. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Check us oh. out on YouTube at How Do We Human. <laughs> I got no handle. I got no handle. <laughs> got no handle. I'm losing. Right I'm losing. <laughs> uh, you can, well, send us an email to How Do We Human Pod at Gmail dot com. Hey, the best part of that handle. It's an email address. Oh, I get no respect. <laughs> He brought it back, folks. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Uh, uh, now it's bad. time for, uh, you know, you've seen how sharp our brains are this whole episode. <laughs> now it's time to do a little bit of trivia. We're really clicking. <laughs> Let's see how we do here, Evan. Uh, Listen, I pulled out I pulled out Pate and you pulled out Haboob. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing okay. Uh, we've got five trivia questions here. Um, and so we we shall see how we do. Um, question number one: Which video game earned mm. music composer Mike Moraski the most awards for his work? Counter Strike mm. Global Offensive, Portal Two, Left for Dead Two, or Team Fortress Two? Here's the thing. Yeah. A, I've got to assume this quiz isn't, like, overly fucking with us. Okay. Uh, and this is a list of four things that this composer did. There's not tricks in here. You're right. not trying to trick us because you respect us. I know, and it's probably biased because it's the only game on here that I've played. Portal 2. I fucking love Portal 2. The music in that game is amazing. The song at the end of it, everyone knows. Really, everyone knows. <laughs> Every we all know it. One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> but like, I gotta. That is of all the Counter Strike would be second guess because that game is so fucking popular. Yeah. Uh, but awards worthy wise, I've got my guess is Portal Two. My guess is also Portal Two. Oh, we're doing um, it. So let's let's give that a shot and see what happens. Uh, we are both correct on that. Woo! If you've never played it, I think you would fucking love Portal. Uh, yeah, I have never played it. Uh, it's um, so fun. So good. <laughs> uh, all right. When mm. did O Canada become, uh, officially become the national anthem for Canada? The 1980s, the 1880s, the 1920s, 
or the 1950s? Sometimes I get a question like this and my brain just rewrites history, whether it's true or not. Either I remember <laughs> something or I make something up in my head as history. <laughs> okay. It sounds crazy, but this gave me a vague, fake memory probably that O Canada is newer than people think. Yeah. And I'll place it in the 1980s. Yeah. I, I think it's the least likely answer, but there's something in my head telling me that. And yet, that's one of the two answers I'm in between as well. Uh, it doesn't I was, feel like 80s, 1880s, I mean. No, I, yeah, I mean, I was between eight, uh, excuse me, the 1980s and the 1950s, because I do yeah. think it's one of the more recent selections. My rationale for joining you on the 1980s answer Here we go. is because 1880s is also on there. True. And I think that, you know, when there's two things like that where they're both 80s, that either tricks my brain into thinking it's one of them or Damn. uses my excellent deductive reasoning to determine that it's one of them. We're about to find out which one that is. <laughs> uh, we're both saying 1980s. Let's go. And yeah! we're both correct. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because that's like right around the time when the the U.S. beat uh, Canada and the Olympics. Miracle uh, ice. Interesting. <laughs> uh, oh, all right, Canada. Oh, In, brother. <laughs> oh, brother Canada. <laughs> oh, brother Canada. <laughs> In 1845, a series of wars named after which indigenous people began in New Zealand. Aborigines, Polynesians, uh, Papuans, I don't know that I pronounce pronounced that right, or Maori. Now, I know that Maori are in New Zealand. I yeah. don't know. I mean, I know where Aborigines and Polynesians are from, Papuans, I'm not familiar with. I'm not familiar with any wars named after this but i have to guess maori because that's all i know oh man you and i are in the same boat again evan look at us um, go. You, i mean i you could beat see me it. last week and now you refuse to let me get ahead you're just gonna answer <laughs> the same as me every week well <laughs> <laughs> i you know i could see it being one of uh either aborigines or polynesians i guess but yeah uh, I am just in that same camp of like, I know for sure Maori people are live See, in New Zealand and again, I don't want to you... guess something that I know some of these other indigenous people also right. live in other places. Cause I, yeah, I know Polynesians are in America, primarily Hawaii, Hawaii, <laughs> Hawaii. <laughs> but now that you said that, my brain did it again. And I was like, oh, the Polynesian Wars. That right, that sounds, sounds like a thing right. I've read about. <laughs> yeah. So we might both be wrong, but we got to stick with our guts. We're going to stick with our gut of Maori. Oh, hey! we're both right. We're winners. Yeah, this is, uh, we are tied at three. Will we ever uh, diverge? I don't know. <laughs> How many pairs of chromosomes are in your body cells? 24, 23, 21. 22 great order to have listed those <laughs> <and> you <laughs> tricked us <laughs> uh hey you answer first i i know what my answer is okay i don't know if it's right but i'm i think it's right i'm between two okay um and i'm between 23 and 24 okay um i then i'll just say my answer is 23 <laughs> okay <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, 23 is where I was going because of 23 and oh, me. Oh, yeah. That, and <laughs> I, I think that has to be right. I think that must be why it's called that. But that never occurred to me. I never questioned why would it be called. Me neither. I'm just like, oh, it's just, it's like McDonald's. It's right now, like, this, this is the only time it's ever, I've ever connected the dots that that Little. could be what it is. <laughs> Little did Walt Disney know he could have named Mickey Mouse. 23 and me and i never would have questioned why <laughs> you can name anything 23 and me i don't care 
All right. That's, that's it. <laughs> Last question, Evan. Ooh. Which was the first of Alfred Hitchcock's movies to be filmed in color? Vertigo, Rope, Psycho, or Rebecca? Uh, I've seen three of these movies. I've seen and three of, the, of these movies. Of We're the three, only one of them is in color, which makes me think <laughs> that's the answer. Okay. Um. So I'm going with vertigo evan do you have a a guess i am going with rope okay i do not remember which of the two but as far as i know those are the only two of this in color psycho is definitely not rebecca is the one i'm questioning if i've seen or not but i'm pretty sure it's in black and white okay uh yeah rebecca and psycho and vertigo are the three i've seen so i've not seen rope so this this will truly be the only uh time we diverge in this in this uh, game here, Evan, this is last exciting. question, because it's on my computer, I'm going to oh, click Vertigo. <laughs> but uh, let's see what the answer is. Yeah! You are correct. Evan going five for five. I crushed um, this one. I had a, you crushed that one. I had yeah. a, a rough go last week. <laughs> <laughs> What's that put? I think we got to continue tallying our, our scores. I do. I have been keeping the tally. Uh, okay. So you want to tally by uh, by points or by games? I guess. I would say points. <laughs> okay. Because it's fun. All right. <laughs> Which In I that think case. You're still ahead by I one. I am or ahead two? by one. By one. All right. Uh, the you. score is currently um, eight to seven. Thrilling. Uh, with me in the lead. Yes. Do we want to? Okay, we're, it's a big ask, but we've currently got no plans to stopping this podcast anytime soon. <laughs> Let's play to first to a hundred. Okay, and then Sounds if we want to continue, we'll start over. But let's give ourselves a a goal. That's more. All fun. right, I like it. Boom! Thrilling. Uh, watch rope. Rope's awesome. Proto Birdman. Oh, <laughs> all in. One take, hiding the seams. Interesting. Ooh, Who are you? Why is Jimmy Rope Stewart here? Okay, bye. Rope, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Got no respect around you. <laughs> <laughs>